All right, with that 63 today, kind of hard to believe that that wasn't the best score out there, but uh, walk us through what allowed you to have a great day today. Yeah, yesterday I got the putter going on the back nine and made a bunch of birdies, and today I hit it better all the way through and then also putted really well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I thought I played great. I mean, nine under, I'm very pleased, but obviously there was lower than that out there today. Did you know what was happening up ahead of you? Uh, I knew he was playing really well, and then I saw on the board that he eagled 16, and mm -hmm. that was kind of all, all that I knew. I was just, it's its so hot out there, I'm just trying to, you know, stay one shot at a time and just get to my ball. Mm -hmm. uh, your brother Nick shot uh, 62 yesterday in pre-qualifying. Yep. Um, have you been chatting with him throughout that journey for him, and can you describe his game to us a bit? Yeah, he played... Um, he played a couple rounds uh, earlier in the year at, like, McKenzie 2 school, I think, and um, played well and then faltered over the last couple of days. So hopefully the good start, you mm -hmm. know, keeps going this week. Um, he has been working. He was kind of a late bloomer to golf. He kind of took up golf late in high school. And since then he's worked extremely hard, and I think all that hard work's paying off a little bit now. How much do you guys work on the game together? I'm in Florida, and mm -hmm. he's in California, so I don't don't see him too often. <laughs> uh, but we play every once in a while when we're home, and, and definitely when I get out to Virginia Country Club where I grew up, um, I see him out there practicing, and, and uh, he's always working on his game. He loves it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Is uh, Nick a younger brother? He is, yeah, three years younger. Uh, how, how does a younger brother with a, you know, a guy like Patrick Cantlay who has won the Haskins and almost won the Yam and stuff like that, how does he become a late bloomer to golf? Was it kind of – he wanted to do something else. Yeah, I don't. He just didn't. Uh, he didn't really fall in love with it until later in high school. Uh, but once he did, like I said, he he just started working really hard, and he's gotten a little bit better every year. And and that's kind of the key to this game is just working on your weak spots and trying to clean up uh, little parts of your game that can get better and and build on some confidence and get rolling. When you think of your I don't remember a time where I didn't play golf, yeah. so uh, my parents got me into it very young, and I'd say once I could really start to drive, like once I got to high school, uh, a year or two into high school, I fell in love with it, uh, just being able to go to the golf course after school. I remember being able to drive was a big deal because it wasn't, I wasn't dependent on somebody else to get me to go practice. Oh, I'm thinking drive off the tree. You mean actually Yeah, drive. actually yeah. get to the golf course, so um, yeah, I'd say right, uh, definitely in high school. Uh, you know, we had a great high school golf team, and it was really fun. And I, uh, you know, that's when I really started to take it more seriously. This may be a dumb question, but what kept you going in the years before you was, you know, before high school when you weren't, you know, maybe as in love with the game? Um, I remember I just liked other sports better. Okay. Uh, I liked the team aspect, and I liked, um, you know, I like. <laughs> I remember golf feeling boring because you'd go to the golf course and you'd be at the golf course for three, four, five, six hours and you'd be by yourself. And so I remember once getting to high school and having lots of guys around that I was playing with, it was it made it more fun. It made it easier to hang out at the golf course longer. Patrick, I'm curious, what's the lowest score you've ever shot in any kind of either it was practice round? Or, and what's it like when you get, take it really deep? What's that feeling like when it, you're kind of nervous? You're like, God, I have a chance to really do something crazy here. Yeah, I've shot 60 once in practice, once on tour. Um, I don't have that that feeling like to protect or, or anything. I feel a lot, almost the opposite. I'm playing really well today. Everything seems easy. Mm -hmm. Just get me to the next shot. I'm going to figure it out. I'm playing great. Um, and I feel like the round can kind of build on itself. You get a couple good things going, it feels like everything good is going to happen. Cool. Thanks. Good. Good. All right.